Hello, in this video you are going to learn about the while loop in C, uh, the function getTra and uh, the end of file constant. Um, yeah, I will just start off. Um, first of all, we need uh, an integer value. This time I'm not going to initialize it. and. Uh, we will work inside of the while loop, which is just like an if, con if condition, but uh, it's slightly different. For a beginner, it might be almost the same because we have our braces here and inside of here goes the condition and we have our curlies and inside of the curlies um, will go the code that will be executed as long as this condition is true and that is uh, the only um, difference between the if condition and the while loop. This code will be executed as long as this condition is true while the if condition will just execute this code once if this condition is true. Okay, um, first of all we will assign a value here to our integer c the value of get char. Get char will read um, some text from the command line and um, will write character by character into that variable c. So we will get every single character here. And we want to, um, to check if this value is not equal to eof, end of file. Um, the end of file is a special value. I will tell you about this later. First of all, this one, these braces are important. I will explain why later. Um, first, I want to show you what we are going to do. It's not, not very special or something. It's just a very simple thing. Um, character is, I will just, I want to, to print out every character that the user typed in a new line. Um, so this program already is um, done. We can compile it and run it. And when you run it, what you will see is um, you, you can't see anything. That's because we didn't make a printf before that. We, we could say, okay, enter your name or something here and uh, now the terminal is waiting for user input. So um, if I provide some text here and I hit the return key, I will get every letter one by one on a new line with um, this comment here. This function is responsible for our output. But I, I'm still the the program hasn't been ended yet so so the thing is i didn't send the euf we are still in the while loop i still can enter some text here and it will print out just just as before i will i will terminate the program now and um, if you want to terminate it you can hit um, control and uh, c but i will give you another method soon and this is uh, the EOF because if we have let's say some other code that is executed here um, oh. uh, this, is, this is just some text but it will um, help us to understand something from that loop this text is n not been executed now. So when we uh, enter something like hello world and this text is still not executed, that is because this text will come after the while loop. And if I hit control and C now, the program will terminate every other line after our loop will not be executed because this is just like we hit the cross for closing the program. We just shut it down. And this is not what we want to do. What we want to do is we want a 
this code to be executed after we finished the user input. And the EOF is a special number. It is um, minus one. And the special thing about this number is this is not a character because this is just one um, comment. If, if I hit minus one here, I can see that I actually send three different characters the backslash n for a new line, uh, the one and my minus. Mm. So this is a value a character can never be assigned to because this is just like one character and the main trick here is to hit like control C. Um, it's maybe control D for your operating system. Um, I will compile that one again just to be sure and now I will say hello world and now I will hit control and Z and now you can see okay I have a strange symbol here if you see that you have to hit the return key and then you can see our other code and the program is terminated I'm back to the console again the program finished running mm. I could also go here and just say okay this is this is just minus one this will also work if I compile again run again everything is working fine I hit end of file and I press return and I see everything just work like before and um, the reason why we want to use the EOF constant this is a constant we will talk about this later is it is easier to understand the meaning we know what now we all know this means end of file and now we all know this is a special symbol which is uh, which we can send to the console by hitting either one of these two um, combinations and we need to press return after that to send that um, now we know that if if I just say dash one here we maybe we don't know that we need a comment we need to write here okay this one means end of file and then we can just go here and just say what we want to say this is not minus one this is end of file so it's easier to read that um, the second thing to note about this program is this extra set of braces why why I said this okay let's let's just try to run the program without these extra set of braces <clears throat> okay come on doesn't want to okay um, if I run the program now I have a problem my program is not working like I expect it to work. So the reason is the single equal sign is assigned to a sign a, well, a value. Whoa. <laughs> um, so here we want to assign a value. And here we are comparing two values to each other. And the problem is that the comparison has a higher priority than the than assigning a value that means now we are comparing first and then we assign the result of the comparison and that's not what we want we want to assign the get jar first and then we want to compare the char which is assigned to the variable c to the end of file and that's why we need the extra set of braces so this is also interesting to see the priority of the equal sign and the comparison the not equal comparison in this case but all of the comparisons so also the equal comparison um, will have the same priority okay and I think all of the other things inside of this program are pretty easy to understand for you now so um, I think that's all all you need to remember is the while loop, 
ha has a condition inside of here and as long as this condition is true um, it will print out some text so as long as the character we send to the console is not um, the end of file symbol it will go on and on and on to print all the characters that are that are sent to the terminal if this condition here is false that means if the character we send to the console equals to end of file it will leave the while loop and it will go on here after the while loop to print our next line okay and that's a pretty cool um, thing we can do pretty cool stuff with that knowledge so uh, let's just move on and do the great stuff